This is the impossible dovetail, and in today's video, I'm going to explain how I explored this old machinist trick with 3D printing. Let's get started. How's it going guys? Angus here from Maker's Muse. So I was browsing the YouTubes and I came across ClickSpring's video of the impossible dovetail that he machined out of brass and aluminium. Now, if you haven't seen ClickSpring's videos, he is an absolute god when it comes to machining. But it reminded me of this interesting looking, I suppose, puzzle that machinists would create. Often apprentices would be tasked to create it as one of their first parts because it needs to fit together very accurately. And the thing about the impossible dovetail is, well, at first glance, it doesn't look like it's possible. I've used dovetail joints before in models like my ancient lock mechanism. And um, these dovetails are, are used to help this object slide into place and not come forwards in one direction. And they, you know, dovetail joints are used in all sorts of industries, mostly in joinery for wood. But how would this dovetail work? I mean, you've got a join on every angle. Well, I'm gonna give you a warning right now. I'm gonna explain how this actually works, how this puzzle forms and my explorations into it in 3D printing. So if you want to remain entranced on how this actually works without me demonstrating it, then I give you fair warning. Otherwise, I'm going to proceed and break the illusion. Now the impossible dovetail is extremely clever because on the outside it looks like it's all these joints, but if I just slide it 45 degrees, it pops apart. This is the genius of the impossible dovetail and what's interesting is I used Fusion 360 to draw this up and it taught me a few things uh, geometrically about how this is designed. So in Fusion 360, you can see here, I just open up a plane by going across two lines. So it's 45 degrees to our cube. And then you draw the dovetail joints kind of as if they would normally be drawn. I gave them an offset of 0.3 millimeters, which is a clearance that I know my machines can achieve thanks to my recently released tolerance clearance gauge and then I printed them out on two different machines separately. What's interesting is with 3D printing, it's actually almost cheating. You could print these together on a multi-material machine like that. It's actually a more of a, a challenging feat to achieve this with machining, but I don't have a mill. I only have a 3D printer. So I thought, how far can I push this into possible dovetail uh, concept? What about rotating the dovetail instead? Well, here's my attempt at a rotated impossible dovetail. Again, from the outset, it looks like it's joined together irreversibly. However, if I grab it from just the right angle and give it a twist, it untwists. So the dovetail in this circumstance is revolved. It goes around an axis. Again, I drew this in Fusion 360 and the parts fit together thanks to that axis and it goes in like this. Now, fair warning, these parts um, have quite sharp edges. And I did actually cut myself on this model. So you can cut yourself on 3D printed plastic parts. So be warned, um, you might wanna chamfer some edges, but it does kind of destroy the illusion. Um, so this one, I don't really know if it has any real practical use. It's like, a, it's like a captured track, but you might be able to use this for another project. Either way, it's a fun curiosity. And this one in particular, even if people have seen the impossible dovetail puzzle, this one in particular might stump them because it really doesn't look like uh, you can do anything with it till you just kind of push it from the right direction and it just comes apart. I also wanted to explore a shape that wasn't a dovetail. Again, pushing this beyond what you can achieve with standard machining because we are using 3D printers. We do have much lower geometry constraints. So I designed this. So this is a much more complicated shape. Again, looking like it's joined together. But again, with sport with 3D printing, we might assume it's been dual color printed in one go but it hasn't. Again, this is using the same trick that the impossible dovetail uses and the parts slide apart like this. So you have this shape here and this shape here and they slot together like so to achieve our illusion. I actually really quite like this one. Um, you could use this for practical applications to design something and slot it together for a dual color print without having a dual color machine. But I wasn't satisfied with those models and I wanted to do some more research. So I came across a channel called Mr. Puzzle and he had an impossible dovetail puzzle, which was even more sophisticated than these. So I tried to recreate it again for my 3D printer. So this is the same kind of concept, but it doesn't come apart. Why is that? Well, again, spoiling the illusion, there is a little captive ball and I just copied the design that Mr. Puzzle had 
in his video. So I'll link here to go check out his video of the model. But it is a captured ball that locks the halves together. And if you remove the ball, it's held with magnets. It opens up to reveal a cavity. Now you could use this cavity to hide precious things like little USB drives or little notes or a ring. And um, if you give it a tap again, then it's fused together again. I really, really like this concept and I printed it in red and gold because it is Chinese New Year. And I really like how this model actually came out. So these files will be available to download here or they're free on my Patreon link because I want to want to say big thanks to my Patreon supporters keeping Makers Muse going. And I truly hope guys that you take these concepts forward and put them into your very own projects. My name is Angus and I aim to empower your creativity with 3D printing. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd love to have you subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.